I'm Mark Saxton. I'm Code Red Lawson. And this is Blue Collar Sports Talk. And Codis, Codis, guess what time it is, sir? It's time to talk some shit, Marcus. It's time to I talk think so. some shit. I've been waiting all fucking week for this. Let's Cheers, this. buddy. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. That's good. They hit the spot. It's beautiful. It's refreshing. Very refreshing. But before we continue, before we go on and continue to talk some shit, we lost the legend. We lost the legend, and I should have been more prepared. I should have gotten myself a red solo cup. But I figure as long as we uh as long as we take this shot and memorize. And we have the remembrance the of a legend. Toby Keith. Toby Keith, R.I.P. 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 Brother. Thank you for everything you've done. I should have been a cowboy too. Phenomenal. Um, Some of the best songs. Good old man. How about, talking about feeling like an American, huh? Right. right. How, about, how, how about nothing better than some old Toby Keith to just Toby Keith. put on the old jukebox? Just, I mean, it, when mm. country music, when country music thought it couldn't get any better, boom, they call Toby out of the bullpen. Mm. Toby comes out of the bullpen, just throwing a strong game, mm. strong game mm. for, for 20 years or more. Just coming out there, just wreaking havoc bad day to be a music note right because he just murdered all those notes he just fucking shredded them so hate to see him go love to Rest remember what he did toby you're a legend thank you for everything rest in peace brother a little two drinker on that one he deserves it he deserves it oh yeah so yeah, pour a whole one out for him uh codis it's super biggest bowl. game of the year super bowl weekend Biggest game of the year in any sport. I don't care what they say. I don't care. They say, oh, yeah, most watched sports uh, event in the world. Oh, the U.S. is so high on themselves. Yeah. Yeah, we fucking are because we get more people than the entire world to watch one event every year. But hold on. Is that great? United States is the greatest country in the face of the fucking planet. What Mm -hmm. are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Come on. Back to back World War champs, baby. Come on. (laughs) Fucking go. And we well, got another think, rematch. And Speaking I think of rematches. Who? Here we are. Here we are once again. Now, Niners, Coates, Chiefs. What do you think Talk is going to happen? What, what, what say you? Oh, I mean, there's so much that we can go on about. I mean, we got prop bets from Taylor Swift picking her nose in the first two minutes of the game to the color of the Gatorade fucking that gets poured on the winning coach. Oh man, but, dude! But before we go into bets, let's let's just stick to predictions because uh, of we, course, me and you, we're gonna be like we're gonna be like squirrel with bets because we, I mean, <laughs> here's the thing: this is this is what fiends like you and I love is weekends mm. like this because there's you bet on the the national anthem, how long that's gonna be? Yeah, yeah. The coin, the coin toss. toss. You can bet Oof. on who won the coin toss. Oof. With heads or tails. You can bet on the Gatorade at the end of the game. You can bet on each quarter. You can bet on halftime scores. You can bet on the halftime performance now. Uh, mm. Which song is going to be performed first? I don't, I just don't know. So before we before we dive before we get into it, the craziness, let's talk, let's talk about the game. Let's talk yeah. X's and O's, huh? What you got? Well, I mean, I I think when you look at the game, you got to go with the experience. Like the Chiefs have been there four times. This is their fourth trip in the past six years. Four and, times. And- and in the past six years, they've been to six AFC Championship games. That is every single year they were in the AFC Championship game, making four Super Bowls. That's over half of the attempts, even in the NFC in, in the AFC Championship game. So, I mean, the experience of the uh, coaching of Andy Reid, uh, the defense that they've been able to put together, uh, Mahomes and Kelsey, that connection. Pachenko has been running like a fucking maniac, but. Niners, their defense has been fucking killing it, dude. Well, when they need to kill it, when they need to kill it, they've been they've been killing it at the end of the game when it matters, right? Exactly yeah. when yeah. it fucking they've matters. So down. let's say, uh, and and you look at the Niners' offense, so many weapons, dude. You got Christian McCaffrey, Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, who's been battling an injury and but Brock showed Purdy, no sign of it. And Brock Purdy, who's shown he can put together a game-ending drive, right? I mean, I mean, he showed he can do what he can do. Granted, obviously, it helps that he has one of the best teams in the league 
around him, not taking any credit from him, but he has that many weapons to lean on when he finds the pocket collapsing. And when he needs to run, roll out to the outside, he's got people that to turn to, which helps a young quarterback who makes good decisions. If we're being honest, that, well, that's what I think separates him from so many quarterbacks is, um, you know, you want to, you want to look at his high powered offense, like, Oh, you know, any quarterback would shine in that offense, you know, but uh, the way that he's been, uh, when he's been able to be consistent is in key situations. And he's been doing that through all of his career, all the way up until now, until he got injured last year uh, in the, in, in the playoffs to where it completely took the Niners out. I mean, you could see it. It sucked. It, it yeah, sucked the, the energy the out of the yeah, sidelines. Complete wind out of the sails. So uh, he, performs exactly when he needs to perform and and that's the most important part when you think about it because you know you could have a shit game all game defense is holding up and then when you need to score you go in and you fucking score and Brock Purdy has been doing that so you got to give give the man credit uh where credit's due you can't deny the high powered offense that he has but when he needs to make a pass Fourth down, third down, third and long. His, his conversion numbers are good. He, he he is he's going in there on those key situations to score, and that and that's what changes all the games. So there's so much going on. I've said a bunch, but ugh, dude, I have to go with the Chiefs, dude. Like a betting standpoint of me, everything I want to root for. You know, Perry High School, Gilbert High School football. You know, he wasn't the best. Did you go to Hayden? But he, uh, Hayden. I went to uh, I went to multiple high schools. I went to probably about three. Fucking troublemaker. You're thinking of, you're thinking of Higley. I think you're thinking of Higley. Higley. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew it was yeah, yeah, with yeah. H. I knew it was with yeah. H. Yeah, yeah. You were you were close. <laughs> <laughs> but so you know, I want to root for Brock Purdy. My heart wants to root for him. You know, fuck the Niners. They're our boogeyman. I'm yeah. a Packer fan. They always knock us out of the playoffs. But I I'm going with the Chiefs. So Marcus, let me hear what you got. So yeah, no, you covered a lot. Um, I do agree. Now, covering covering some of Brock Purdy's stats, once again, going back to what I said, uh, what I've been saying all, all these last few weeks, I don't understand the hate that Purdy's getting. I don't understand the extra love that he's getting either. Um, he's just a guy who – he he's the perfect Steve Young. I mean, the Niners have a way to put a team on the field to where they can make a good quarterback look great. And that's nothing – I'm not knocking Purdy, but – He's he's a good quarterback who understands the system, understands who he can lean on in which part of the game, and that's all you need him to do. He doesn't need to be a Tom Brady or an Aaron Rodgers making that you know threaded needle pass. Obviously, he can. He can, of course. But, but he's not he's not that every throw guy, right? And I mean, when you got Christian McCaffrey who's scoring three to four touchdowns a game, once yeah, again, for not real. taking anything away. I'm just spitting facts. That all being said, I think that Chiefs defense is going to lock down. I think they're going to be able to contain Kelsey and uh, uh, McCaffrey. You mean Kittle? You said contain Kelsey. Oh, yeah, Kittle. Kittle, 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 Sorry. Kittle Kittle and McCaffrey, right? That's going to leave Debo Ayuk and um, maybe maybe a rollout situation where Brock. Juwan Jennings. Well, Juwan Jennings well, just no. fucking pops open, right? But well, I'm more talking about where Brock can where Brock can use his legs because he's he's proven that in a few. Yeah, days. true. Um, I think I think the Chiefs are going to be smart enough to force in in certain situations to force him to throw to that that one on one coverage. Which, granted, you give it to Debo or I, you, I mean, the favor's in their hands for sure. But if you pressure if you pressure any quarterback, I don't care who they are, yeah. they they have a shot of making a mistake. So I'm going to stick with that. With that defense, the experience and the coaching, I'm not talking co- uh, Shanahan. Hate him or love him, he knows his shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. taking Andy Reid, who is approximately fifty percent in his career being in these situations. I'm gonna take Patrick Mahomes, who's approximately ninety percent in these situations. I'm gonna take Kelsey, who even though obviously he's had his struggles this postseason, he's dropped a lot of passes. Um, he hasn't gotten open. He's kind of gotten locked down, but that's opened the door, right? For Rice. Hey, he's been getting touchdowns, though. Well, that's yeah. All, but that's also when it's time to get the touchdown, he's been all, catching them. That's also that that also opened the door for for Rasheed Rice and 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 Pacheco to run like a maniac. Um and he's Mahomes, been running like a madman. 
and and Mahomes, right? I mean, he he's never been the guy to make a terrible decision. It's happened from time to time. Mm-hmm. Um, I I feel like if the safeties if the safeties can can lock down those areas, the, and the linebackers and the front men uh, handle that run game, they're gonna force a lot of one on ones, and they're gonna force Brock to make a perfect throw. Which I don't care which quarterback you are, if you're forced to make a perfect throw every time, you're gonna make a mistake. And if they can do that. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm. I'm. I think they will, and I'm taking the Chiefs now. Mind you, the Niners are favored at one and a half right now. Um, this being Friday night, the Eve Eve of the Super Bowl, if you will. And I'm. T- I'm. T- I'm just. I'm doing it. I'm taking the Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs. One, fuck the Niners. Two, fuck the <laughs> Niners. Three, fuck the Niners. And four, I don't know if I said this, but fuck the Niners. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I hate both that. teams. If we're being honest, I hate both teams. I'm kind of, I'm kind of over. I got, I got, I got love for Brock Purdy because of Perry. I got love for Brock Purdy because he's not an asshole. Even though all the hype, all the hype around him is bullshit. Whether it's good or bad, right? All the hype is bullshit. But Brock Purdy's just a solid guy, right? He's just a good dude on and off the field. Never read a bad thing about him, right? Mister Irrelevant coming in and true. making good on every promise. So that that is very true. I'm just saying, but look, I mean, it, well, look, look, if we're putting, if we're putting a mortgage payment on it, I'll, like if I'm going to throw all what I have, a, a solid mortgage payment, mm. I'm putting it on the chiefs. And so are you, because you got experience of coaching staff, quarterback, uh, you got a, a, a elite tight end, arguably the best tight end in, in the past decade that we've had uh, to witness as football fans. Uh, Pachenko's running like a maniac, and the defense has been fucking locking on one. in, locking in. So, I mean, it's really a no brainer, but anything can happen, son. It's the Super Bowl. Hey, it is that brings the me, motherfucking Super Bowl. That brings me to my next point, Codis. Uh, this isn't a weekend or bender moment. This is mm. this is what we're gonna call this one is the blue collar big one. Woo. The blue, the blue collar, collar big, big one. one. All right. Here's what I got for the what blue you collar got? big one. And I got a a, a small wager for a, a pretty hefty payout. Mm. Now, I did land big on the Packers Cowboys. Could have been bigger. Should have picked multiple touchdowns for Aaron Jones and Ferguson. But who saw three touchdowns from Jake Ferguson? Come on. Who saw that? No one. Okay. We're not that guy, pal. We're not that guy. But we can get lucky sometimes, so let's get lucky this time. All right, first leg of first leg of this super blue collar parlay. What did you What did you call it? No, I already forgot. I, call, I know, I love that one too. I mean, <laughs> where are the fucking names here? The I called super, it. I called it. I called it the blue collar big one. You called the it blue the collar super, the super blue collar pick. I'm cool. With it. <laughs> Fuck okay, right. it, we'll call so it. Hey, we'll we'll call. I mean, we're irrelevant. We, we fucking go. Brock Purdy was. Let's call it the <laughs> fucking Sugar Bowl, dude. Like it, it is what it is. Fuck it. All right, here we go. First leg: George Kittle, one touchdown, anytime touchdown score. Love Travis it. Kelsey, two touchdowns, anytime. Okay. Christian McCaffrey, anytime. Okay, there it is. Those are my four four total touchdowns. Okay, for the for the the pick, and then I got Brandon Ayuk at forty yards. And George Kittle at four receptions. $10 bet on FanDuel as of uh, earlier today, a couple hours ago on Friday. Uh, $10 pays out $414. I'm going, I'm going for a crazy one. And then I also have a fun side bet of an offensive lineman to score a touchdown. Get this, at plus 6,500. I went to DraftKings first. And I looked at their odds. Any offensive lineman plus thirty five hundred. That's a three at the beginning. And I go to FanDuel. FanDuel had sixty five hundred. That's double. That's double of what DraftKings was offering. So, folks, if you're gonna go in and you're gonna do a crazy, you know, fun, you know, a uh, Gatorade color, or you know, how many times they're gonna show, show Taylor Swift, look at the other sports books. Look and see what their offers are because I got a double offer, a five dollar bet Stop on DraftKings. Around. Stop around. would have been would have been like one thirty. A five dollar bet on FanDuel pays out three thirty. It's mm. a double. It's a double. So look at both. Look at both and see what odds are the best. I love it. I love that. What do you got? What do you got, Marcus? I want to hear your fucking super fucking pick 
no, I, was in, I was in the lab. Magic. I was I was in the lab, and minutes before the show, Cody was not happy with me. Hurry up, let's fucking do this. Make it happen. <laughs> we gotta go. I was in the lab. I was in the lab, and listen, son, I was I was cooking. That's me flipping the omelet. I was, ooh, I was cooking ooh, in there, flipping the burger, just flipping just, that, shit. just cooking. Now check this out, son. I got a five pick parlay, single game parlay for the big game. Now I got Patty Mahomey doing over 261 and a half in the air, in the air. Okay. In the air. None other like uh, the atom bomb, right? Cause he's coming down and there's going to be some damage. Now over one and a half TD passes. Easy. Mm. I got McCaffrey. Two two of those are going to Kelsey. Come on. Oh, easily, easily. I got McCaffrey and I got Pacheco. Anytime oh, TD scores. Gimme. Now, the kicker. What's that payout? Let's put that kicker, payout. The kicker, Chiefs money line. $5 gives me $55. Ooh, wait, oh, that's it? I thought that would have been higher adding that money line. So did I, but Chief I'm taking it dogs. anyway. I'm taking it anyway because guess I like what? it. Guess what? $55? That's a, that's a, that's another 24 pack of this and some whiskey. So I'm cool. Plus some, um, maybe even a pack of smokes, huh? Maybe, maybe <laughs> a pack of darts. Just, <laughs> just getting it in. And um, here's my thing, folks, right? When you make these bets, you get excited and then code red and, 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 and yours truly, we get together. The minds start cooking. Code red. Over, under, on a minute, two seconds on the national anthem. What do you got? Who's singing it? We don't even do we even know. Do we no, know who's singing I had, it? No, I had it. Now I drew a blank. Someone who's gonna just hold a note. Two and a oh, 102 and a half. I'm gonna go under. Hold on. I'm gonna go with the under. I'm gonna go with the under. Fuck it. But I know people want to just hold notes. But I feel like over a minute and a half is pretty fucking long, I dude. Reba, I think Reba is is singing the national anthem. Oh, Reba's gonna go classic, dude. She's just gonna fucking rip dude, it. Dude, so a minute two seconds. I'm gonna say over, and, and I'm gonna say it's about a minute six. Okay, I'm going under. I'm going under. Let's go. Let, let's bet on the fucking uh uh Gatorade Ooh, color definitely. on the I, winning coach. All right, you, uh, you went first last time. I'm gonna go first this time. Pick a color. Pick a color. Orange. Oh, I was going to go orange, you bastard. Okay. I'm going to go I'm going to go yellow green. Okay, okay. I'm going to go yellow green. And so okay, loser, okay, let's say it's neither of our colors, we don't take a shot. But right. it's one of our colors, the other one takes 3. That's no, not, two. We'll go two. We'll go two shots. Well, no, let's let's do two shots total, right? A shot a shot of a, a piece with Okay, for the yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. I love it. I fucking love it. And uh here's the thing. You just never know, right? Last year, I get uh, what was it? Yeah, I guess uh, a purple. I guess purple. I took purple and I think it was blue. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> Almost had it, dude. It doesn't let us in Arizona. It doesn't let you pick the fucking color, which is stupid. Isn't that bullshit? Which I went to to Caesars, to MGM, to FanDuel, to DraftKings. No one lets you pick the fucking color here. I love it. Now, bullshit. Here's here's a quick side story. So my pop, he calls me and he or he he, he talks to me and he's like, "Hey, want to get it on the weekend or Bender?" And I was like, "Oh, do you now? <laughs> do you?" <laughs> You took advantage on that new player bonus, didn't you? you no, made him sign I up. did not. I know <laughs> yeah, I did you not. did. Don't no, lie. No, because he wants to run it through my account. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So I was like, all right. And, you know, I was, I was kind of tossing things back and forth. And uh, he he's he wants to pick the Niners. So I, I now stand by on the bets. I got to call him after the show. But, uh, hey, Pop, I'm going to give you a call here in a minute. And uh, whatever you choose. That's on you, but I'm picking the Chiefs. He's picking the Niners, but he well, he he always wasn't never true to fucking SoCal. So yeah, I I mean, how are you gonna be a fucking San Diego fan and then root for the fucking Niners? Come on now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shots fired. Let's move it along because I'm gonna hear that one. <laughs> uh, let's move it along. And uh, Codis, 
Codis, it is time for the Do FC. Ooh, we got an interesting card this weekend because of the young up and coming prospect, Joe mm. Pfeiffer. Mm. Mm. Taking on Jack Romanson, who I mean, a lot of people would call kind of like the uh uh the placeholder. Um the uh I, I can't think of the word that everyone calls it for uh for MMA, but Jack Hermanson is, is that guy to where if you can get past him, you're gonna be getting high ranked opponents, you're moving to the top. If you can't get past him, you're stuck on the bottom. He's kind of like that placeholder. I can't think of the fucking name and it's bothering me. I keep thinking of Dark Horse, but that is definitely not the term because a dark horse is someone who would uh, who no one would think of would uh, uh, come and take the belt. Sean, Sean Strickland was kind of a dark horse, but here we go. Joe Pfeiffer, Jack Hermanson. Joe Pfeiffer's wrestling is fucking on point, dude. Uh, and he has heavy hands. I love Joe Pfeiffer to beat Jack Hermanson um, in the main event. I got a, I got a parlay cooking. He's got a big lab, underdog folks. on it. He's in the lab, folks. Let him cook. I'm, I'm cooking. I'm cooking in the lab. The last few, uh, you know, recipes have been disastrous. Hold on. Hold on. To Cody, say the I'm, least. I'm glad you brought that up because here at Blue Collar, folks, we're trying to end a drought. And guess what? The I looked it up. My last six, your last five. Weekender Benders. Uh, the, the special hundo. We missed. We blinked. We blinked. Not even one. Not even ah bet, right? Not even ah bet. <laughs> so we're trying to end the drought here, and this is the perfect weekend to do it. It's championship weekend, baby. Here Fuck we go. Up. Here we go. I'm going with my lock as Jeez. Joe Pfeiffer over Jack Hermanson in that main event. Joe Pfeiffer that. is going to finish him quick, and if he doesn't, uh. I still think he can edge out a decision. It's going to be dirty. It's not going to look as pretty, but I think Joe Pfeiffer gets the finish pretty early, whether it's a submission or a TKO finish. And that's on my first leg with Pfeiffer. And then I'm going Dan Ige versus Andre Feely. Dan Ige is a tough son of a bitch. Feely's very quick, very unpredictable, but I think the uh, grittiness uh, will uh, ride out a decision, maybe even a TKO finish for Dan Ige. Like I'm only going with a three leg parlay and I'm going to go with a bit. Those were two favorites. I'm going to go with a big underdog against Gregory Rodriguez, Brad Tavares at a plus two Oh five underdog. I'm going to parlay them together. I think what was it? You said $5 paid out like 63 bucks ish, 63, 67, depending on when you get in on the lines. Mm-hmm. Um, they both – here's the thing. Uh, Gregory Rodriguez and Brad Tavares both lost to the same dude. They both lost to Bruno Silva on their second-to-last Bruno fights. Silva, is a, he's a hard-hitting motherfucker. He's got cinder blocks at the end of his wrists. And they both lost to him. Um, so that's why I, I just – I don't know, man. But Brad Tavares is the older fighter. I, and they're both around the same age, but they both come off of a win – and Tavares beat Chris White, an injured Chris Weidman. Mm. So I think that's why he's favorited, and because Rodriguez came off of a, a TKO finish in his last fight. So here we go, those three fights. That's there it. it. There it is. Now here, here's he took. I got something cooking. I was in the lab. Ooh, let's cooking. Cook, cook I was it cooking. up. Call me Walter White. Mm. So I also am gonna take Pfeiffer. Okay. Now and I'll be honest, that was that that's was the a, lock. No, that's not my lock. That was that oh. was the love shared from from Code Red. He was like, "Hey, Mark, Marcus, Marcus, you got to take Piper." So I'm gonna take Piper. I'm gonna take Code Red's word. Um, but somebody that I do know well, I'm taking Danny Ige as my lock mm. of the night. Mm. I'm taking him over Philly all day long. Now this is where I'm gonna mix it up mixing it up and hopefully i don't have to lick the spoon at the end of the night but uh i'm it's taking the best part <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taking i'm taking giles i'm taking giles over pratis okay okay and I'm, and I'm taking clark now i understand i understand both of those last picks i understand where they are at 
I I'm hoping that both of those men are hungry enough to turn it over, get it going, get some momentum early, get some damage, and get either either get get the cards to go their way, or get that lucky submission. And I understand this is a long shot, but I'm taking it. And those four picks, five dollars will get me forty eight thirteen. Mm. Making money, dude. dude it, it, I love that you brought up Devin Clark, though. I I fucking love Devin Clark, dude. Oh, dude, he has a he has a he has a uh, tattoo of like an elk with some but, like but, mean but see, old fucking. But see, bu- uh, the thing about Devin Clark, it. the thing about Devin Clark too, though, is is the tenacity. No matter no matter who he's up against, he kind of reminds me a lot of Colby, where. He's he's coming at you no matter what. Now, obviously, Colby, this last fight. He, yeah, but Devin Devin Clark definitely has more uh, uh, power. No, oh, yeah, no. Sure. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, no matter who he's up against, the he's pressure. Coming, yeah, he's pre- coming. Yeah, 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 the pressure, a hundred percent. That's what I'm 100%. saying. A hundred percent. That's one thing that I think could could favor what's going down. Well, that well, that's why he's a, a minus two hundred five for sure. Right. That, right, that but, that's what that's what it is. That's why but, the odds are but, that way. But hundred percent. Yeah, and, and that's my thing. And and that was kind of my kicker because I, I I threw Giles in there, so I had to I had to counteract Giles. You had right? to you had to you had to get a get almost a sure thing. Nothing's a sure thing in fucking no, fighting. It sure dude. Is, it sure Nothing is. is a sure thing. Fucking a Mike Mallet and fucking Neil Magny. Hats off to Neil, Na- Magny, Neil Magny. Can we just can we just give Neil Magny just a slight little round of applause for coming back from that? What for a getting tough fucking son of a bitch. battered for fucking thirteen minutes, and he's just like, "No, nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm. I'll wait till he's tired, and then I'm gonna body lock him and fucking rain down on his face." Mm. That that was my my lock was Mike Ballot, and I'm watching it. I'm like, "Yeah, this is exactly how I figured it would be." And then Neil Magny's cardio yeah. just said, I- "Nope." I just want to throw this out there. My lock was uh, definitely Molly McCann. Oh, but but it was was it Molly McCann? Was yes. it Molly? Yes, yeah. it was Molly. But Congrats. it was definitely it was definitely the the best pick of the night. She broke that bitch's arm. She snapped it, dude. Shot. She didn't give a damn. But I mean, we we don't know for sure. There's been no word on it, but we could all see it bend. It was either a really gnarly hyper extension or a snap. It could have been elbow. a fracture too. Looking at the replay, it could have there Ugh. could have been fracture. It could have just been dislocated. She could have had it that pop too. right back in, and that she'd be too. okay. Yeah, that does happen. But, but Molly you know. McCann came out like a fucking like a spider monkey. It, it seemed like the other girl had no business being in the octagon. I agree. With her, though. Let's I agree. be honest. Let's but, be honest. But Molly McCann. <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest, Molly McCann came up. She's doing. She her did. Thing. She's she riding did. the wave. And uh, hey, caps off, huh? Now, code red. Once again, like I said, we're five and six weeks out. The drought. I don't know about you, but in northern Arizona right now, we've been been getting all kinds of precipitation. Been getting hit with some fucking rain. You probably got some snow, dude. Oh, we got them. We got we got them snows. We got them snows. But <laughs> I'm hoping that that can translate into our fucking weekender benders and end the fucking drought, my guy. I know it's been fucking rough, dude. But I my I feel pretty confident in my lock of Joe Pye for getting this win, dude. I like it. No, I, I really do. I like it. And I, like I said, I, I really feel really good about you. Oh, today. here. Okay, okay. The word I was looking for is a journeyman. Yes, yes. Jack Jack Hermanson is the journeyman of this division. He is the journeyman of the middleweight division at 185. What if you can Danish? get past him, you're going to keep Danish, going right? higher. What is it? What is he? Danish, right? Denmark? Is he? Is he Danish? Probably. He, yeah. He's definitely one of those weird uh, uh, Sweden. He's mm. a Swede. He's one of them Swedes. U S. One of them white guys. U S A. I'm telling you, Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer's gonna put it on him, dude. He's gonna bring the pressure immediately. And I, yeah, he fucking no. dude, what, dude. He's got heavy hands. Me about him, from what you're telling me about him, I, I won't be surprised if he loses to Hermanson. Okay, look, Hermanson's not easy to beat, but I think Pfeiffer has has the ability to run through him. I like it. I, I do. I do. Don't be surprised if you're looking at a first round, second round finish. Or where Hermanson's really close to being stopped. And maybe it's Herb Dean and he lets it go. I don't know. We'll see. I like it. No, I, I do. I love it. And folks, we're in full of full of uh uh sports this weekend. I love it. 
right? I mean, we got spring training just a couple of weeks away. We've got the UEFA Champions League kicking back off. We've got uh, just a couple months away from now. We've got uh, Copa March America. March Madness. We've got March Madness in a few mm. weeks. I mean, NBA playoffs are coming. The NHL playoffs are coming. Mm. Folks, we've got so much. And if you're a sports fanatics like uh, Codis and I are, this is the world. Of, this is the world we need to live in. This is what we need to be in. And other than the fact that we hate everybody hates both teams in the Super Bowl, <laughs> it'd be a good weekend, right? Should be a good weekend. Oh, the only teams rooting for teams in fucking <laughs> California and fucking Missouri. That's it. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> SDSU just lost in overtime to Nevada, 70 to 66. Mark, I'm sad for you, but I'd be lying if I said I cared, just to be honest. Dude, they were all, they're already a bubble team. I don't know why they're fucking around right now. Like, it angers me. Like, we have the team to do it. I mean, I was going to bet on them for just for you, too. But honestly, now I don't care. It's, I was going to do it. It hurts my soul, Codis. It hurts my soul. Well, Marcus, you told me. Watch out for SDSU. Last year, I said that. This year. You did. You were so right last year. Holy, dude. They made it to the fucking finals, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. I'm telling you. And don't forget, I got to rush the court illegally for sure, but. And and you and you got that flag. Some yeah. fan thought you were such a better fan than they were. They were like, "Take it, you deserve it." Hey, I'm from San Diego that's, County, baby. I'm here representing. And, that's uh, that's that's pretty admirable, dude. That's it was it was a good time, <laughs> dude. It was a good. I mean, we were hammered. Me and Mateo, we were hammered. But it, I know you called me and you were like, "Dude, I got a flag." <laughs> what the fuck you mean? <laughs> you just, they just gave you a flag. You're like, no. A fan fucking was like, take it. And you were like, oh, yeah. And I was just waving that bitch like I was supposed to be there, dude. It you was fucking the called thing. me after the fucking yeah. game. And you it were was like, dude, I got a flag. It was the best game ever. I was like, I saw they won. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? You rushed the court and then they just they handed you the key to the city? Pretty like, much. What the fuck you talking about? Much, if you ask me in my drunken state, pretty much I owned Vegas at that night. <laughs> I mean the craps remember, table. Yeah. The craps table said otherwise. I lost a lot of money, but <laughs> I had a good time. I had fun. Oh. I'm all about the ass. Oh, Let's go, baby. S D S U. Fight, fight, fight. Let's go. Bye. I'm ruining them for you. Just you. That's I, it. I appreciate it. We're gonna need all the fucking help. We well, need. and San Diego is a cool place. I like visiting San Diego. It's, it's beautiful. It's nice it when it's not underwater. Hey, the most beautiful city in America is what they call it. And yes, it is underwater right now. Well, no, San Diego <laughs> County is underwater. <laughs> That's why I said as long as it's not underwater. Sorry, our, you know, sorry for. Yeah, no, you know, yeah, we're not trying to, yeah, we're not yeah, trying to make light joke. of anybody. <laughs> that kind of got dark. Yeah, no, I know. I feel like a dick now. Mm. Maybe you could just cut this out. It's supposed to be funny, and now I feel no, like an asshole. No, nah, we're gonna run it, right? We're gonna run it. We're gonna do what we do, and uh, yeah, I actually thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, no, what a dick. <laughs> Shit happens. Um, no, I think, hey, folks, please like, follow, subscribe. Let's let our little community get bigger. And thank you for everyone who supported us thus far. We've got some we've got some things lined up. If they work out, maybe, maybe some things will happen. Um I mean, hey, why not, right? Why not blue collar? Just like with the Packers, just like with just like with any other under- why not? Why, why not? Why fucking time? not? So, so we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep doing it for we're fun. Grinding. We're gonna keep grinding and, and see see what it is. Cause I love shooting the shit with you, Mark. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things to do every week. I look Same. forward to it. Same and guess what? Only more's ahead because baseball's coming, dude. It's gonna be- oh, dude, this is the most pumped I've been. Look, I got the I got the pennant, dude. I'm about to hang the W up. I'm about to hang the W up, and it's game over. It's gonna be good times. It's gonna be good times. So, Codis, I'm actually going to a couple of fucking spring training games this year. Same. Let's meet. Up. Oh, quick side story before I Cubs call Cubs Padres. I'm too down. I'm let's so do down. I'm in the valley, bitch. You're the one up fucking three hours away from me. But so guess let's what? Go. Guess what just happened today? 
guess what just happened today? Hit Mika- Michaela and I won the lottery. We got Savannah Banana tickets for $35. No fucking way. Mm-hmm. Were you in just her? We, uh, it'll be me, her, and the two kids. Oh, okay. So, so two t- so you could bring me, but you just want to bring your kids instead. <laughs> I get okay. It. Yeah. Fuck no. Me. No. I get it. Fuck yeah, me yeah, for no. being a good dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I totally get it. I mean, it's not like they're. It's not like their brains are gonna remember it or anything. You know, like it's I not think... like they're totally. You're gonna ask them in ten years, and you're gonna be like, "What game? What are you talking about?" And I would be like, "Yeah, dude, we drank fucking ten beers." Yeah. At least. Yeah, no. Go ahead. Bring your kids. Yeah. yeah no, no. Bring them. Straight gonna have a good time. No, uh, uh, I think it's April sixteenth. It'll be a seven o'clock at night game. And uh, what's That's cool awesome. about the Savannah Banana Games is it's open seating, so you pay for your ticket, you get to see get them. there early. Yeah, get there fucking early and go behind the plate, dude. Let's go. No, it's sick, dude. I'm It'll I'm be fucking a good time. And I'm gonna send me some pics earlier when we were talking earlier. I forgot to tell you because. Michaela told me, and she told me like it was all nonchalant. She said, oh, hey, by the way, got an email back from the Savannah Bananas. So I was like, when did you email those fuckers? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. Like we it's won. nothing. Yeah. She's like, we won the lottery. We got tickets. And I was like, no fucking way, dude. <laughs> this is fucking sick. I didn't even know you put in for it. So, I mean, it's good shit. I mean, it has That's fucking out. awesome. So, we'll be down there for that. But, no, CODIS, we are definitely going to get together. We need to plan it out. Uh, folks, you at home will be able to see... When me and Codis get together. Hey, let's fucking live stream and take some videos. Exactly. Some game. We're going to try and get there early, maybe interview some players. And that's a big maybe, you know what I mean? But we're going to try and get there. We're going to try and have a good time. We'll interview some fans for Blue Collar. Hey, let's make it happen. There we go. Codis, thank you for your time, sir. Once Great again, show as always, Marcus. Once again, please like, follow, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys have a good championship weekend. Here we go.